Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be going over enrolling our Android device into the Android Q beta. Now this video will be a little bit longer as I'll go into a little bit more detail on what this might mean for you and your device. So if you're not into all that, you can go ahead and have a look at the timestamps down below so you can see what you want to see. Now with that being said, let's continue. So the Android Q beta has been out for a while now, but I've never really talked about enrolling it you know, doing the official way, enrolling into the Android beta program. Usually I just like to flash the provided factory images for developers because I find it easier that way, but that requires an unlocked bootloader and of course some sacrifices when it comes to safety net and your device being able to play Pokemon Go or use banking apps. Not that those apps might work on a beta version of Android, but you never know. So that's also one thing to consider that when you go on this beta, some apps might not work at all, they'll just crash, or they might not function as designed if they're incompatible in some ways due to different changes with the APIs that Android Q provides and also new ones that are supposed to be used instead. So if you do experience issues with apps, that is normal. And there's also a really cool beta community on Reddit where you can submit questions and report bugs and keep track of bugs and apps that don't work. So the Android Q beta is actually pretty exciting and to see if your device supports the Android Q beta, Google usually provides this after the first or second beta and also for those with Project Treble. So you can see a whole list of here, the ASUS phone, Essential phone, uh, some Huawei devices here, LG, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. And of course, all the pixels um, that have been out to date. It doesn't say the Pixel 3a here, but that's okay. That's the device I'll be testing it out on anyways. So to do this, all you have to do is head over to the Android beta program if you don't want to unlock your bootloader. And pretty much once you head over here, you can click on view eligible devices, or you can just scroll down a little bit and you can see the phones that you can opt in here. I'll be selecting the Pixel 3a because that's the one I have on me right now. So once you click on opt in, you'll need to agree to the, I guess, terms and conditions here of the beta program. And of course, if you read it, it'll say that it's not really, uh, I guess responsible in a way, or it's just telling you that things might not work. I'm going to just agree to the terms and conditions and I'm gonna click on join beta. Give this a moment to work and it should say our device is enrolled. So this update or this beta will be given to you through a system update. So we can check on that pretty soon, but I just wanna go over. If you don't see any of your phones here, you might need to check on which account you're currently signed in on because if your device has multiple accounts on your phone, you might need to select your other email address or other Google account that is logged into your phone and your phone might appear there. So that's just something to keep an eye out on. And now you can see that our Pixel 3a has been opted in. So let's just head back to our phone here and we'll just quickly go over to the system and have a look at some updates. And basically you just got to wait here unless it decides to find the system update for us and it looks like it has. So this is what it looks like. You just get an update to Android Q beta and you'll continue to receive updates uh, once your device is opted in. And finally, once the beta is over, you can leave your device opted in and you will receive the final version of Android Q installed right onto your phone and usually without any data loss. And you can see our new system update is available here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so here it reads, we'll install Android Q beta four, and this will contain significant behavior changes, especially with those requiring access to your internal storage. I'm just going to click on download install, and that'll download the update and install it. And all you have to do is reboot to get a good taste of Android Q. Now, just as something else to mention here, I have a original pixel that's also on the Android Q beta, and you can see that it is so because of what it looks like pretty much. And you can also, if you do recall on the website, if I just move it over, that my Pixel isn't actually enrolled in the beta program. Now this is because I've unlocked the bootloader of my Pixel and decided to flash the images that are provided to update your phone to Android Q. So enrollment is not mandatory or necessary provided you have an unlocked bootloader, but that means your phone won't receive any OTAs to future builds of Android Q. You'll need to download the factory images and flash those manually as well. But even after you flash the factory images, 
you can go ahead and enroll on the website um, and opt in your pixel and it will continue to receive updates like that. I will just leave this to update and download. Okay, so once the update finishes downloading as per usual, any other OTA, all you have to do is tap on restart now and you'll probably get a notification when that happens. And once your phone boots up again, it should be running Android Q. Okay, so here it is. Um, it says we're in the Android beta program and it looks pretty similar to what I had on my Pixel. So I'm guessing it's here. So it's defaulted to the three button navigation here. It's also finishing the system update to Android Q. We can see all our lovely new icons and the settings thing crashed, but that's all right. There it is. Let's have a look at dark mode real quick. Dark theme. Nice. Looking really good. And let's just have a look at the new gestures. So you'll be able to access everything as it was. All my apps are still here. I didn't have to log in. It kept my do not disturb status. And we can also change gesture navigations. Like so. So there we are. And if you ever want to go back to Android P or whatever the current public stable build of Android is, you can actually just pretty much go back on the website like I described earlier, and you'll be able to go to the beta program, scroll down a little bit to your eligible devices, and then just click on opt out and click on leave beta. The same way as you upgraded to uh, the beta version of Android, you'll get an OTA to downgrade and your phone will be wiped and you probably won't be able to restore any of your backups. So that's that. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below. And of course, feel free to join us on Discord if you'd like to chat about this or any other kind of Android related things. And as always, happy flashing.